challenges in designing and implementation of research study now in any research study we usually want to study relationship between a variable and an outcome and there are two main challenges first is confounder and second is effect modifier so let us understand them one by one so what is a confounder confounder is an external factor that can independently affect the study outcome and it affect both study variable as well as the outcome so it is associated with the exposure but it is not an intermediate step in the causal pathway between exposure and outcome let us understand it by an example a study is planned to estimate the prevalence of coronary heart disease among adult smokers and non smokers in a village here hypertension is a confounder since in respective of smoking habit the hypertension itself is likely to have coronary heart disease so there is a relationship between smoking and hypertension and smokers are more likely to have hypertension so that may itself lead to coronary heart disease so confounder may affect both study variable as well as the outcome so how we can minimize the confounder effect confounder effect can be minimized by designing the study properly so proper study designs and second stratified analysis we will uh, learn more about it in sessions which are come uh, uh, later on uh, in the series so here just we remember these two terms and then we will refer back when we will learn about them so confounder effect can be minimized by proper study design and stratified analysis the second is effect modifier now what is an effect modifier so effect modifier is basically an exposure variable that differentially modifies the observed effect of a risk factor on outcome either positively and negatively usually it alters it negatively between study variable and outcome and it will only affect the outcome independently so good to be aware of them and how we can be aware of them by adequate literature review and effect modifier should not be included in study so literature review is the best source of information on effect modifier as well exploring cause and effect relationship in a research study let us understand it by an example for example socioeconomic status can be considered an effect modifier since the association between obesity and coronary heart disease could vary in a different strata for example in low, uh, low socioeconomic middle and high socioeconomic group now let us see mcqs what is true about confounders they affect both study variable and outcome true their effect can be minimized by proper study design and through stratified analysis true so both a and b are correct statements so here option c is the correct answer which is the base source of information on effect modifiers while exploring cause and effect relationship in a research study so how come we know about effect modifiers by studying about them and how we know about them obviously a thorough review of literature a thorough previous studies which are done on the topic will give us a better idea of effect modifiers so answer b a study was conducted to assess the extra pyramidal side effect of a new antipsychotic drugs in a patient with schizophrenia now many of these patients were smokers and some of them were on an anticholinergic drug so what is the role of anticholinergic drug in this study so anticholinergic drug whether it is affecting both exposure and outcome or only the outcome so here it is only affecting the outcome that's why we will consider it as an effect modifier